Hey guys, it's Michael from Fire and Brilliance, and today's episode will be more about colored gemstones. But uh, there's a very common question that uh, many people will ask every single time when they do want to purchase a colored stone. What are my options? What are popular? And how do I attain these options, right? So uh, the, for the next couple of weeks, basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to go over all of the colored gemstones based on color. Today's episode will be based on blues, okay? So I'll go over a few options or a few of the more popular options anyway. I'm not going to go be able to go over all of them, but more of the popular gemstone options with the color blue in the marketplace. And I'm going to get right into it for you. Uh, these again are the options of blue gemstones in the marketplace and I'm going to go over the names of these gemstones as well as the mineral type, how it measures in the Mohs scale or the hardness of the gemstone and if it's available as a natural and a lab created gemstone. Okay, so uh, that being said, let's get right into it. Now, uh, the first stone is a tourmaline, okay, it's a silicate mineral or a rock forming mineral made of the silicate groups, uh, which are the largest and most important class of minerals uh, that make up approximately 90% of the Earth's crust. All right, uh, that being said, this mineral is a crystalline boron silicate mineral compounded with elements such as aluminum, iron, magnesium, sodium, lithium, and potassium. Uh, now this gemstone is obviously blue, uh, this is also available in other colors as well, but since today we're going over blues, I'm going to only emphasize on the blue tourmaline. And as you can see, it's a beautiful gemstone. The Mohs scale is a 7 to 7.5. And it is definitely available in both natural and lab created. The next gemstone is zircon. Okay, it's also a silicate mineral. The mineral is zircon. And the chemical name is zirconium silicate. Okay, and the Mohs scale is 7.5, and is also a natural and available in as a lab created form. The next gemstone is called a topaz. Now that being said, uh, please keep in mind that topaz gemstones are available in also in many many different colors, uh, and also in blues. And in, even in the blues, there are different variations of blues. Okay, so um, now that being said, it's also a silicate mineral. And what you're seeing here are going to be different variations of the blues and the topaz. Okay. Uh, the first one is a Swiss blue topaz. It's a beautiful light blue. The next one is a cashmere passion topaz. And it's a little darker. It's closer to uh, or very similar color to what sapphires many times look like. The next one is a sky blue topaz which is right in between the Swiss blue topaz and the cashmere. It's a very, it's just like sky blue. It's a beautiful colored stone. And some other topazes that we weren't able to provide in this specific Geminar are, that are also very popular is called the London blue topaz as well as the passion ice blue topaz. The mineral is a silicate mineral of aluminum and fluorine. The Mohs scale is an 8 and is also available as a natural and in lab created form. Now moving on, the next gemstone is called an aquamarine. It's actually one of the more popular blue colored gemstones. It's made of the mineral beryl, just like emeralds. In the Mohs scale or the hardness scale for gemstones is anywhere between a 7.5 to an 8. And it's also available in nature, and it can also be lab created. Now the last gemstone that I'll be going over, which is probably the most popular and most well known of all blue gemstones is the blue sapphire. Now the mineral that, cre uh, that it comes from is called corundum. The Mohs scale is a nine, 
So it's very hard compared to the other blue gemstones. And it can also be found in nature and it's also available in lab created form. All right, so out of all these gemstones, the sapphires um, is definitely uh, hardest in terms of the most scale. And it's also the most popular and most well known. That being said, the other gemstones are also very popular in the colored gems industry. All right, so I hope you really like what you saw there. If you'd like more of these types of episodes, please definitely leave a comment below, hit the like button, subscribe to the channel. Uh, let us know what you like, let us know what you don't like, let us know what you want us to create, and we may potentially make a video just for you, okay? With that being said, thanks again. I'll see you again next time. Goodbye.